What's going on, Hit Squad? It's your main man, Hitman, and I am back once again with the red daily. I <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It's your baby, man, Hitman, and I am back once again with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 online. This is for the family heirlooms, all our jewelry, the coins, the arrowheads, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tarot cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. Um, that's all I can remember. I, I feel like I'm drawing a blank today. I don't know what's going on. Um, I've had, I've gotten news about, uh, well, I've heard or... Yeah, whatever uh, from different people along the rock star I guess community but uh GTA is dropping their update or their DLC their next DLC in two weeks and Red Dead is on the 13th which is this upcoming week so that's something to look out for. I will try to give you guys content on both. If I can't, I mean, I'm. I don't feel. I don't feel like Red Dead is gonna be all that we we hope it to be. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's gonna be something, but it's not gonna be like everything we want it to be. But I'm gonna try to give you content on Red Dead and GTA, especially the initial. Uh, a release of the DLCs and stuff like that but uh let's get back to this video <laughs> if you guys um if you guys want to know Madam Nazar's location any bit earlier than this video make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Hitman Miyagi YT how to spell that is in your bottom left hand in the bottom left hand of your screen it's down below the video in a hashtag and it's down in the description box below um if you find this video any bit informative or helpful in any type of way make sure you like first and subscribe hit the notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that i put out because i put out videos each and every day i said that all backed up and mixed up but <laughs> i'm trying anyway First things first is Madame Nazar's location, which today she's actually down here. I call it the McFarland's Ranch location because she's right outside of McFarland's Ranch by Thieves Landing and Steel, Steel Water Creek, Creek, <laughs> and Manteca Falls. She's right here in this area. She will be here until 2 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, New York Time Zone, East Coast Time Zone, for those of you who don't know or not of America. Uh, how I get to her when she's in this location is I simply fast travel to McFarland's Ranch. It should put you around in this, this area somewhere near this little black mark. She's around here somewhere. I mean, you have spawned somewhere around here. I usually take the train tracks down to her location, which is right here. As soon as you see that big bend in the the railroads, if you don't know this area, just keep on going straight. That's it. That's how you get to her. I wouldn't move any camps down here because it's kind of pointless. It's a fast travel right here. Anyway, the Caribbean rum for today is right here at our waypoint, which is inside of Blackwater. So if you feel like just traveling, Stop the, front, stop the fence, make sure you get all your good stuff or sell all your little extras that you picked up along the way and then travel up to Blackwater. Go inside of Blackwater right here at this location. This is where the Caribbean romantic alcohol bottle right in this first tent right here. Go in the tent, go towards the back of the tent. There's like crates or a barrel or something. That's what the antique alcohol bottle the caribbean romantic alcohol bottle is sitting on so i mean that's that there's also a couple other things that i wanted to tell you about like right here right this is the bounty board right go right down that alley and there's like a, i know this is a stack of crates right here at this location and you should see a seven of pentacles tarot card on the top of the two crates that's right here and there's also a family heirloom inside a treasure chest 
right along the street right here if you do hit your eagle eye you should see it glowing right here but this item is a ivory comb this ivory comb is as i said it's in the treasure chest right in front of the photo studio right here at this location let's go over here to where we normally do business because pretty much it with that we're done with that zoom in as much as i can the cycles for today thursday july 8th are family heirloom cycle six all lost jury cycle six coin cycle four arrowhead cycle one wildflower cycle three antique alcohol bottle cycle four all tarot card cycle two verdict cycle five and fossils cycle one Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there. The cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils, and how to spell the Twitter and Instagram for the channel. Let's get to these things that we will find across the Lemoyne area of the map. Let's start with this item right here. Right here at this location, you guys will get a random coin right here at this marker. Come over here with your metal detector. There's a dead tree sticking out of the ground. Go right at the best, the base of that tree with your metal detector and that's what you will get, a random coin. Right across the way from that is a random fossil. Come right here with your metal detector once again. There's a bush. It's like in, in between a little area of bushes or whatever, but it's like one specific bush where you can see like the branches sticking out of the ground or whatever. But go over here with your metal detector and that's what you will dig up, a random fossil. Right down here at our next marker, underneath the N and NWA, you guys will get a lost jury. This lost jury is inside this house on the fireplace. This item is a Durant Pearl bracelet, by the way. There's also a tarot card right about here. Uh, sitting on a barrel, there's an Eight of Pentacles tarot card. Let's go back back this way. Before we get to this next marker, I have a couple things right here at the left side of the K, right here in this little camp area. Right about here, there's a lost jury, a random lost jury right next to the skull altar. I always tell you guys about the skull altar. Right to the left side of that skull altar, pull out your metal detector, and you will be prompt to dig, and you will pull up a random lost jury. I cannot tell you which one exactly because, as I say all the time, it's random. If you guys want to go inside this little shack right here, right inside this little shack on the table, you guys will get a four of wands tarot card. Let's go right over here to our next marker and at the U of Bayou. Right here at this location, you guys will get a random fossil, another random fossil. Come over here by, I think this is a tree stump. If it's not a tree stump, it's a tree. But come over here at this location with your metal detector in the mud, I think. And you guys will get another random fossil. Um, There's a couple things up here. One is a tarot card which sits on the dock. It's like one one of the, the pole poles or posts of the dock. There's a six of swords on one of those posts right here at this location. And right by right here, you guys will get a another random lost jury. So come over here with your metal detector. And that's what you would dig up right here at this location along the little way. So why not grab both of those if you can? Let's go down to our next marker. Matter of fact, let's go over here to this marker. This marker is a bird egg. This bird egg is a egret egg, E-G-R-E-T. It's in a tree, shoot it down with a rhyming rifle or a bow using a small game arrow. The initial bird egg that I used to tell you guys about hopefully they fix like some of these glitches and stuff like that or the negative kind of glitches <laughs> but right here at this location you guys will get a bird egg this bird egg is a spoonbill egg it glitches out so you have to find out how to get it 
maybe switch lobbies a couple times and call your hunt uh not hunting wagon your um bounty wagon and all kinds of other stuff i'd rather not just get it i'll just get it on a different cycle <laughs> but it's there if you guys want to attempt to get it let's go over here to this mansion at the e of lemoyne right here at this location you guys will get a family heirloom this family heirloom is sitting right here at this look at the location of this marker on a bench and it is a ebony hairbrush this ebony hairbrush is sitting right here it's right on the i guess before you get to the stairway because there's a stairs over here on this side and there's stairs over here on this side and there's a bench here right on that side of the circle and there's a bench here on this side of the little circle right here at the marker is the bench that you're looking for and as i said you would get a ebony hairbrush let's uh go over actually there's a couple things over here which i did not mark one is the tarot card the tarot card is right here at this location and this tarot card is a knight of wands it's inside this mausoleum you go through this little entrance right here and walk around and to this location and that's what you will get a knight of wands tarot card there's also a couple family heirlooms which one sits across from gus and a treasure chest on the ground a large treasure chest on the ground there's a boxwood comb family heirloom right here at this location if you guys can see that in the s of the knee right here at this this next location if you guys can see that it's around the corner from the gun shop but right here at this location you guys will get another family heirloom this family heirloom is a tortoiseshell comb this tortoiseshell comb is on a bench down this alley right here so it's on the ground floor on a bench down this alley right here at this location let's go to our next marker which we're gonna go up here first right here at this location there's a big tree in this backyard go around this big tree with your metal detector and you guys will dig up a random lost jury i cannot tell you guys what lost jury you will get but once once you find it and you get that prompt to dig that's what you would dig up go let's go down a little bit there's like i guess shrubbery <laughs> this kind of separating the landfill and this person's property but once you go you can go around like towards the, sh the shoreline and come up but right here at this location of this next marker you guys will get another family heirloom this family heirloom is in a pile of trash come over here to this location and you guys will get a wooden hairpin right here let's go down to our next marker which is a antique alcohol bottle this antique alcohol bottle is a tennessee whiskey bottle and how to get this bottle it's under underground so you have to go through this gate right here it's like two gates they come together go through the gate there's a platform here jump on that platform you should see an entrance that goes into the building here this entrance does not lead you into the building it actually leads you down underground into the very large crate that sits right here in the middle of the path on that crate you guys will see a lantern and a antique alcohol bottle right here at this location the antique alcohol bottle once again is the tennessee whiskey bottle how to get out of there just reverse go back the same way you came hop on your horse and let's go to this next marker which is right here this next marker is the cardinal flower that spawns over here each and every day if you can see exactly where that at it spawns over here in this location that helps me indicate exactly what cycle the flowers are on for today which today is cycle three let's go up to roads there's a couple things in roads let's start with our next marker which is a family heirloom this family heirloom is a rosewood hairbrush this rosewood hairbrush is in a chest right at the edge of the railway platform right here on the side of the building right there at that location so open up the chest grab it out of there let's go to our 
Next two things, which one is right about here. It's a tarot card. This tarot card is on the second floor. It's on the terrace. And the terrace has like a dining room section, outside dining room section. So you go up the little stairway that's right about here and go into that little dining room section on the second floor. Look for one of the tables towards, I guess, this area. And you guys will get a tarot card, which is a Knight of Swords. If you don't feel like it, if you already got them, then if you don't, if it's not one that you specifically need, I wouldn't worry about it, to be honest. <laughs> um, if you don't know where it is and all the other stuff, it's, it's not, you know, I guess it's not something that you need. <clears throat> Anywho, right here at this location, this next location, you guys will get a Four of Cups tarot card. This tarot card is right on the side of the barn on a bench, right next to the wall of the barn right here. Let's go up to our next location, which we I have about two more things for you guys. Well, one more before we get to that last marker. Right about here, I tell you guys about this all the time. There's a scarecrow right here. Go directly in front of that scarecrow with your metal detector and you guys will get a prompt to dig up a random lost jury. I cannot tell you guys what lost jury you would dig up, but come right here, right at Southfield Flats, right at the, the peak of this little hump right here. Come right here with your metal detector and that's what you would dig up. Let's go over here to our last marker, which is a random, it's not a random fossil. This is a random arrowhead. Come right here at this location. If you don't see it, use your eagle eye. You should see the glowing stuff right here at this location. There's a pile of dirt. You do not need your metal detector. You just need your shovel. Come right here at this location with your shovel and you will dig up a random arrowhead there's also a creek plum flower right about here remember to look for a bush and not a flower flower it's a bush of flowers that's pretty much all that i have for you guys today thank you guys for watching looking listening or we ain't got to that part yet the cycles for today once again are <laughs> Family Heirloom Cycle 6, All Laws Jury Cycle 6, Coin Cycle 4, Arrowhead Cycle 1, Wildflower Cycle 3, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 4, All Terror Card Cycle 2, Bird Egg Cycle 5, and Fossil Cycle 1. Once again, Family Heirloom Cycle 6, All Laws Jury Cycle 6, Coin Cycle 4, Arrowhead Cycle 1, Wildflower Cycle 3, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 4, All Terror Card Cycle 2, Bird Egg Cycle 5, and Fossils Cycle 1. Thank you guys for watching, looking, listening, uh, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I do appreciate each and every bit of it. I try to tell you guys each and every video. And if you haven't, if you don't, remember to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I put out because I put out videos each and every day. Remember, subscribe, 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 subscribe. It's your baby hit man once again, and I'm out.